they did a good job? Um, I could yeah. get it done without Nickelback, but besides that... You're not a Nickelback fan? I'm not a Nickelback fan. I like Nickelback. Okay. I don't really care, so... I thought they did a nice job. Yeah. yeah. So, um, third time in a row... Yeah, I know. I know, and it's with, uh, as I, my standard line here in the Dale Talon is going to be, be behind me and the show's over, so he taps me on the back and says, let's go, Susan. As <laughs> 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 his reference to Susan Bucci. Um, in, the, in the big picture, though, uh, as I've said before, this is, this is great that we've had uh, this much representation here in the, in the last couple of, couple of years. I mean, you know, Shea Weber, I don't know the voting exactly yet, but I understand it was very, very close. I mean, I mean, who doesn't think that Shea Weber is one of the best, if not best, defensemen in the National Hockey League? So whether he got the, uh, the award or not is the best defenseman in the league. We think he's the best defenseman in the, in the league. So, um, and then Pekka, I mean, do I want another goal other than Pekka? I mean, he's, he's been fantastic for us. And uh, as I said, we would have never made the playoffs uh, last year if he hadn't played as well, especially in the first quarter, half of the, the, the season. So, and as far as the award for the general manager, as I said before, that's a, to me, a total recognition on your whole organization. How many wins you have, I mean, how, how good your coaches are, how good your scouting is, all those, all those things uh, together. So the fact that it's three years in a row for our organization, I, I'll take that any day. Yeah, you didn't get shut out though. Fisher got the, uh, the foundation award. I mean, just no, no, no. But like, what he's yeah. been able to yeah. do for you guys in such a short yeah. period of time, moving to Nashville. No, that's 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 fabulous. I mean, Mike is is, is great, and you know, we've had so many players that are and have been great in the community. I mean, that's certainly one of the strong characteristics uh, as a definition of what a predator is. I mean, we, uh, we've integrated into the community as, as well as I'd say any business ever ever has, and I think that's. A uh, big reason why you know the popularity has continued to rise uh, for hockey in, in Music City. Not just Mike and kind of what he's able to do or what he has done. I mean, just it, it being able to just come in and, and find things to do from a charity perspective. Well, I think you are either you're comfortable with those type of things, or it's you know you, know, you can do it, but maybe you have to do it in a group. And, that's always been a strong suit. Uh, as I said uh, to his parents last night when we had dinner, I said, good, good parenting. And uh, I meant that from uh, the jeans that whoever took to the hockey player park, but I, I really meant from the other part that how he carries himself, uh, you know, as a, as, a, as a person, all the things, again, to use Barry Truss's line of always doing the right things. And, I mean, it's, it's, he, he realizes in the big picture he's more than a hockey player. He's not just going to be a hockey player. And, I mean, you know, this guy wants to integrate. Hopefully, he'll, he'll want to be in be in Nashville for his first whole career. Second year in a row, with close vote with Shea. I mean, probably a lot of people there thinking that he, he deserved this one. I think so. I mean, I told you guys last week. I mean, I thought he was going to to win. Um, I don't know. I don't want to say. I, uh, I mean, it had to be just a couple of votes uh, difference. And, you know, if I was trying to give an excuse or what have you, I'd say there's probably, with an unbalanced schedule, it's a, sometimes it's a little bit uh, unbalanced in, in terms of how the voting is and the exposure that you get and, and maybe some of the, you know, the bigger markets and specifically, I mean, the East and so that may weigh against him, I, I don't know, but I can say the bottom line is that he's, he's been a top three defenseman in, in everybody's eyes the last two years and first All-Star again this year, I mean. He want some other defensemen than Shea Weber. Pekka also finished in seventh in the MVP voting again, up in the top ten for the second year in a row. Uh, could you speak a little bit about his importance to the team as an MVP? Well, yeah, we've, I always use the, the, the uh, comparison that's analogous to pitching in baseball. I mean, you, you have to have it. If you don't have it, you're, you're not going to win. And, I mean, you know being around the team, but I mean, you know how the, the guys feel about Pekka as a, as a player and as a person. And, Every time he goes in the net, I mean, they think we have a chance to win. I mean, can you ask for anything more than that? And that's what he gives us game in and game out. And I think, too, that he's he's really coming out, too, when you talk about uh, off base and community and, and uh, being part of Nashville. I mean, he's, you know, he's just brought up home and he's, you know, I mean, obviously he knows he's going to be here for the long run. So he's a big part of our team. Shea also finished in the Hurt Trophy voting. He finished 13th. So what does that kind of say about his leadership? 
And to have two players in the top 15. Well, I think it's, you know, you start, when you're, once you're recognized, and if you at least, if you're playing well, you're going to start getting this, this, this recognition. And maybe, maybe this is one of those things where Shea can put another good season next year, and maybe he gets in a role and he becomes a, a multiple, multiple winner of, of these awards and these trophies. I mean, I think he's right in that, that area. I mean, he's 27 years old. He's in the prime of his career. So uh, I think his, his, time, his time is just about there. He's right on the edge of it. Thanks, okay. David. Thanks. All right. You know, Susan Lucci did win a Daytime Emmy. Just took her 18 nominations. Yeah, I'm in that last one. <laughs> <laughs>